The PGL minor day two was here, and we have Harazes here, Stiko obviously with me. Uh, already passed one of the one of the matches, still got a few uh, ahead of you. Uh, but first, let's get this out of the way. Oscar on land. Yeah, finally. Yeah, we finally see Oscar on land. The whole, the new lineup is actually the first time that the, the, that you guys are on land. Uh, so. Like looking at the preparation that you had, the the teams that are here, like how how confident are you feeling at this tournament? So as you said, this is our first uh, international event for Zero. It's like first to the at this level. For me, it's also one of the first. And Oscar used to play a lot uh, on this level in CS 1.6 and the beginning of CS GO. So it's kind of new for him as well. So. It was first match, best of one. We knew that this match will be the most important one because if we win, it could bring a confidence to us, to our team. But uh, we managed to lose second pistol round, which was pretty harsh. But we managed to come back uh, from like five or six rounds de uh, deficit, and we managed to close them up. So luckily for us, it went good, and it's only going to go better. I hope. All right. So, seeing as uh, like people are kind of putting pressure on you to perform because like the they they're used to Hellraisers, uh, seeing Hellraisers uh, pretty much at the top, at least like within the top ten. Now, obviously, it's going to take you a while uh, before you can get there. Uh, do you feel that pressure on you? Do you feel like you you do need to perform here to to like satisfy the people? Uh, I mean, we only aim for the win on this tournament. And everything else is just disappointment for us because we really major is like our top priority. Uh, I mean, it's true that all the Hellraisers used to go to majors uh, frequently, but I mean, it's hard to fill such step. Uh, but I think our lineup can be better in the long term. Short term is really tough because we have to like learn other habits against top teams like me and Zero and Oscar. Uh, and we had to switch the language, we had to adapt our place. It's like short term, it will be really like bad for us to adapt, but in the long term, when we stick together, we can probably be a consistent tier two team, maybe tier one. We will see. So, what do you think about the other teams that are here? Obviously, Efrag and uh, and Penta already through to the semifinals. Uh, and what about your group as well? Kind of like give us a give us a prediction of what you, who you think could could play well at this tournament. So the. Guys from Sweden, Dendidi, I hope they can manage to pull off back because I really like their style, I really like them as uh, players. And they can win uh, against uh, Lemon Dogs, uh, their last match. And I obviously think we will win this group. And if Vito process will be good against Pixel, uh, Pixel Fire, I think nothing can stop us to doing such a goal. So you played you play Dust 2 first, do you feel like Playing Dust 2 on a best of one is hard. Is it is it like a map that you would rather avoid maybe in the future, seeing as you, you guys went pretty yeah, toe to toe with uh, with Lemon Dogs at first? Yeah, we the this first beta was kinda hard because we couldn't decide whether we want to play rather Cash or Inferno or Dust 2, but we managed to stick with Dust 2 because of our op place. And luckily it paid off from the beginning. We had uh, some aggressive uh, setups going on and it really worked well against uh, this Swedish team because they like to take on map control, they like to take long, they abused long take a lot as a terrorist side. But uh, on the other hand, we knew how to counter that. We were prepared because of really good preparation from practice matches. And um, we just shut them off early. But unfortunately, they managed to come back from the really bad deficit for, of rounds. And, but they didn't close them up, luckily for us. All right, so thank you very much for the interview. Do you have many, maybe any last words? Shout outs to, to Hellraiser's fan sponsors. Yeah, sure. I mean, Thanks to everyone for watching the Twitch and uh, other streams. I hope you will cheer for us in the next uh, group, st group stage and also playoffs if we get there. But I hope we will. Thanks. Okay, so that was Hellraisers from the uh, from the second day of the PGL minor. We're still going to get back to you with uh, with some other interview with one of the, the other teams from Group B. So stay tuned to HLTV.org.